Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Reagan, if you're new here. So today I wanna to do a full face of Tower 28 Beauty. So I have been focusing my content over on Instagram this week on them, some like short form reels. And today I wanna to sit down and swatch everything and talk about my thoughts on all these products. I have really been focused on them for quite a bit of time. And I have something from every category from the brand. I don't have every single shade. I think I'm just someone, even if I was like sent every single shade, I think it's super wasteful to just be like, you know, I can give that to the women's shelter. Like another woman can use it. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't need to use like 25 blushes just for the sake of it, but I have quite a bit and I have quite a bit of like thoughts on the textures formulations, etc. So I did a video a bit back, I think it's almost two years ago about Tower 28. And it only included a couple of their products and they've grown quite a bit since I did that video. So I thought it would be time to update this, do a full face and get my thoughts. So yeah, let's just roll in. Okay, so we're starting with the Tower 28 Sunny Days. And this is one of my favorite skin tints. It's very serum-y. And it just absorbs into the skin, but it leaves skin looking so nice and dewy, but not like an oil slick. So I have loved this. It is very light coverage. What I'm going to do is normally I do the opposite where I use a fuller coverage concealer underneath and then I do the skin tint on top. But I want you guys to really see the skin tint and how it performs by itself, just so you have like a real idea of the product and not like how it is with concealer. Tower 28 does not have a concealer. I'm sure that'll be something that comes in the future. But yeah, I'm just going to use this by itself, you know, just so you guys again can see. And I do like to shake it up. It's not like a necessary thing, I don't think, but I like to. And I did just dot this on my fingers and I'll put it on this side of my face first. I just really like the texture of this. And again, I like how it leaves my skin dewy, but not like, you know, oily looking, which I don't think anyone really likes. And I just am using my fingers to blend this out and it's a great skin tone evening product. That's why I like it so much. It's not super heavy, heavy not heavy, heavy coverage. And I'm just trying to blend this into my hairline, but it just has like a nice sheen. Perfect shade match for me as well as shade Fairfax, which is the palest shade. And I just really like this. 10 out of 10, would recommend. And it's one of, I mean, I have things, obviously a lot of things from them that I like, but this is like one of my favorite skin tints, I think. It's just very light. I can still see like, my skin and you know, I have like some freckles here peeping through and I do have some like, like I have a zit here and I can still see that, but everything else is just like super uniform and yeah, it's just nice for like a daily product for sure. And I am going out tonight, so I'm using Hint Concealer. Like I wanna have a little bit of coverage um, on my blemishes down here. All right, so good combo. And again, highly recommend this. It's one of my favorite skin tints. I believe it's like, I'm trying to remember how much it cost. It's in the mid thirties range. So not like the most expensive ever, not like a $20 foundation or skin product. But I've said this and I'll probably stick with this for a very long time. I have yet to find something. I mean, there's one thing and it's a Sephora S clean foundation that I like that is in that like drugstore category in clean makeup. No one's just done it. Like I've tried them all. I've tried the Pacifica, I, you know, I've tried all the brands and I just feel like that's one of those formulations you do kind of get what you pay for in the clean space. Like there are things that I can totally see where like, uh, you know, I don't want to spend a lot on mascara because there's pretty good, you know, like 20 and under mascara options but base is one that I, you know, I'm just going off on a tangent, but I do believe in investing a little bit in because, you know, my skin just looks a lot better with this and that's what I'm going for is like natural, healthy looking skin. So something really unique I've been doing is I have a bunch of these minis of the Chili Clear lip gloss and I've been putting it on the back of my hand. Again, this is just like, to optimize product. And then I've been taking a brow spoolie and rubbing it in that gloss and using the gloss to set my brows. 
So just kind of unique. It is a little bit shiny. It's not awful. You know, my brows aren't like look really slicked or something, but yeah, just wanted to share with you guys like this is something I truly have done because I was really trying to focus on Tower 28 and use their products like as much as possible. Yeah, and whatever I didn't use on my brows, I'm just taking and putting it on my lips. Just add a little bit of moisture so they're not so dry. So, you know, just a little like tip to give you all if you're in a pinch. I mean, I do have the rest of my makeup here in this room, but trying to, you know, do some things with this. All right, so I have been using their Bronzy Note in Gold Coast for quite a while, like since the summertime. And I really have liked this shade. I've been using it as a contour. Like it definitely has some more glow to it. And this one is a little bit creamier in texture than the Sculptino, which is a newer one. And this one is supposed to be more of a contour. It has more of a cool tone to it and it's matte so you don't get any shimmer to this one and this one is the lightest shade in broad and then bronzino again in gold coast so i'm going to use the sculptino all over my face and i'm also going to use the bronzino a bit too because i don't have a tower 28 luminizer i do have like their dew balm or whatever but i didn't open it because I'm not that excited about that product. <laughs> Frankly, I was sent it in a PR package and I was just kind of like, eh, not that interested. So whatever I don't use goes to the women's shelter. And just as I'm kind of like drawing out my contour with my finger, um, why I'm not interested in that, it looks like it is more of a balm, that the balm itself and its oil texture is what gives the appearance of illumination rather than like illuminating particles. So to me, it just looked like it would look like you have oil right here on your face instead of like looking like a true highlight. So that's just, you know, that's my thoughts with it. And I'm just using my fingers to blend this out. The texture is pretty slick, so it's easy to do this. And I put quite a bit on my jawline. I have like this small, like I do not have much of a jaw. So yeah, that's what I do. And then I blend up and into my hairline. So I'll use the bronze, you know, in a sec, but I have a few shades of their Beach Please. And these are their blushes, their cream, uh, their cream multi-use. So I have the shade Power Hour, and then I also have Rush Hour. Rush Hour was the first one I purchased. And then uh, Power Hour I got this summer actually. And I was kind of wondering like, huh, I was interested in this because it's a deeper shade that I normally go for. It looks awesome on the cheeks. It's nice, it's rosy and red. So it is more red than pink in tone. It looks great on the lips too. So I've been super happy with the formulation of this. It truly is a multi-use for lips and cheeks where it gives the cheeks a nice amount of pigment, but also on the lips, it is pretty moisturizing and it's pretty opaque too. So I had been using Power Hour a ton this winter. It's just a great shade, so would highly recommend. But this is the newest one to me and this is Magic Hour. This is a little bit more pinky and Let's just put it on together so, you know, you guys can see. And I'm blending this back into my hairline, kind of with the bronzer. I actually was thinking this would be a good shade for me with the bronzer as well. So I'm blending this back into my hairline. It's kind of like meeting where I put the sculpt Tino. And then I'm blending them together so it looks like pretty uniform. All right, so I'm going to take Gold Coast and use a little bit of this where I would use a highlight effectively. And again, this has a little bit more shimmer and glow to it. So this is how I'm using it and I'm not using a ton. And I'm just, again, using fingers to blend this out. Okay, so nice cheek products. It definitely adds, you know, a little bit of color back into my face, sculpts out a little bit. I truly, with the Sculptino and Bronze, you know, don't have a preference because again, I can use this one as a contour if I want. Um, the Sculptino, just a little bit thinner. It is truly meant to be like a contour product. And the blushes I've loved, or the multi-uses I've loved, so yeah. And then I'm going to use Broad and the Bronzino on my eyelids too. So I'm taking Broad, which is the Sculptino matte shade, and 
putting this into my eyelid and I'm focusing this on the crease. And then I'm taking the bronzino and I'm focusing this on the center of my lid and patting it in to the lower half of my lid. So just something else, you know, to use the products in as many ways as possible. Okay, so I'm going to use some liquid liner. This is the Milk Mini Liquid Liner. This is in a Tower 28 brand. They don't have like, I feel a whole extensive line, which I appreciate because everything's a little bit more compact and a little more digestible to talk about, but I do want some eyeliner. So I'll be right back. All right, so the Make Waves mascara is one of their newest launches. And I purchased this because every single freaking person was talking about this on the socials. I mean, you would think that there was never a good mascara ever before this mascara with the amount, and it could just be the content like I'm getting because obviously I view a lot of beauty content, but I just felt like, you know, this was very hyped and it is a $20 option. So I do like that. I think, you know, it's one of those things where I'm like, yeah, it is good to have like a $20 option of a clean mascara at Sephora. That being said, let's use it together just so I can kind of like explain my thoughts and feelings. So it is a double-sided curved wand. So on this side, it's silicone bristles. And then on this side, they're more spread out and there's more gapes in between. And this side is supposed to help add volume. I've found it to be super messy though. On the sides where the bristles are more close together, I get more defining. So let me put this on first. So just comparing like both sides, like again, only the more defining side, there is some volume in it and it has decent definition. So I like that. But once I do this other side, I've just found it to be a little bit too clumpy and messy for my taste. And this is just where I'm kind of like, it's okay. It has an okay formulation, but overall there are just other mascaras out there that I like a lot more. I don't have the time to like go wash my eyes and redo this. So I am going to do the same thing on the other side, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, just that's kind of the way my lashes, I guess, will look today. I just feel like my lashes look way too freaking heavy, especially I was thinking about this as I was putting it on this side. This brand to me is supposed to be like very light beachy makeup. I would never have lashes like this at the beach. This is like club kind of product. So that, it just doesn't make sense to me. It just is a product that I'm like, I would think that they would come out with something more defining rather than like this volumizing that's really clumpy and like thick. And that that's just my thoughts with the brand. Like I would just think like, you know, everything's a little bit more neutral, daily wearable. And this is just, it's messy and clumpy. Yeah, something I was really impressed with that I was surprised how impressed with that I have been. This is the multi-liner. So I have this in Fill Me In, which is a pink shade. And the thing with this is it's a multi-use and you can use it on lips, cheeks, and the lash line. And I did use it on the lash line and it actually wears really well. Like, yes, it's a little bit funky of a look because it's a lighter pink shade, but it actually kind of made my eyes pop a bit because it was just such a light contrast compared to like the, I was wearing, I think like this kind of shade of like a neutral gold eyeshadow. So it was just kind of nice. And it was very creamy and it applies very creamy and it holds too. I did try it on my cheeks. It's a little more effort to like go like this on the cheeks and build up color when I already have the be these beach pleases. So I don't really need to do that. So that is a little bit of a stretch calling it a multi-use in that sense. You can, it's kind of like, you know, technically they're not claiming you can use this as a brow gel. I did use it that way. So you can, but it's not like, the optimal use of it. I feel like lips and eyes pretty good, um, which was impressive because the skin around our eyes is much different than the skin around our lips. So I was impressed with this. This and this, probably my two favorite uh, products from them that I was just really surprised by. And Power Hour and The Beach Please. All right, so lip products. I do have their new juice balm, and this wears more like an opaque stain. I like it, 
and it's not as dry as a stain would be. I like this shade too because it's a more red. I think this will be good for the summertime. I'm not going to apply this one with you guys today, but it was nice. I am not sure how I feel about lip crowns. That's one thing I want to say because I think this is supposed to be their take on like a lipstick lip balm fusion type product and I don't know I would just rather have a lip gloss or a tinted lip balm I'm not sure how I feel about like the crown this isn't one that I would just normally reach for in my makeup routine it's what it is they did send me this they sent me this and a couple of the blushes okay and then I have been using and this is the first product I ever got from them this is their lip gloss and spicy this is one of their first launches was the lip gloss. And I like this. These are pretty moisturizing, pretty light. This one in Spicy is more red in tone. And then XOXO is pink in tone and it's a little bit brighter of a pink. So I like the formulation of this. It's not too thick. It's very moisturizing on the lips. And then I also have their Milky Lip Jellies, which are a little bit more creamy. So I'm going to use Coconut with you all today. I've had Oat and I've used this in the past. But this, I think, just kind of goes more with the lip pencil because it's more pink. But this wears more creamy, where the other ones are not as creamy looking. They look more jelly. I like the texture of this. It's pretty affordable, especially for like a Sephora clean brand. And I think their lip glosses are pretty good. I prefer the lip glosses to the balm, like this crown balm thing. It's just a texture I like more. It's a little bit lighter and it's something I just would reach for more than again, like a crown. So yeah, that's my thoughts. Alrighty y'all, so last but definitely, definitely not least, this is another one of my favorite products from them. It's their SOS Save Our Skin Daily Rescue Facial Spray. So I had been struggling with eczema at the beginning of this year. I don't know if I'd used a product that made my skin off. I don't know if it, I think it was related a little bit to the elements because I was doing hot yoga, which is 120 degrees in that studio I was going to. And I love the studio, but my skin was just like after class, I'd have these like red patches and it wasn't blemishes. It was eczema patches and I had never experienced that. And I didn't know what to do. Like this is my testimony for this product because I did not know what to do guys. And I've been a beauty YouTuber. I've been in the beauty space for a period of time and this had never been an issue that affected me. I know that other people have had this issue, but like just for me, I'd never had this. And I was, I had to totally redo my skincare routine. I used to be able to use like actives and this and that, no. I am the most basic person now. I like wash my face with a gentle like milky, cream cleanser or something that's like unfragranced, like super basic cleanser. I use this and I use a serum that has no actives in it, including like vitamin C. I don't use it, any actives. And then I use a balm at night. Um, and then during the day, some, I'll use like a light moisturizer, no fragrance, nothing irritating. And then over the top, uh, some sunscreen. And I am able to use my own brand, just so everyone knows, I did formulate this like to be my brand to be for sensitive skin. But I swear this has helped my skin so much because a lot of facial mists, even in the clean space, use like some sort of fragrance, whether that be essential oils, something. This does not use anything and it just does not irritate my skin. It is approved by the eczema association i didn't even know that was a thing so if you're struggling just give this a try it's pretty affordable i'm empty of this and i have another one now and i'm thinking about buying the big old glug jug when i first used this i didn't like it i was like what the hell is this frankly because at the time they'd only come out with their lip products so i was just like what like is this supposed to be a setting spray it, it, to me it didn't work well like that and then once I kind of had like, and I had come out, I think, and I sat on one of my, some of my content somewhere that I didn't like this because it's like, it's weird. It's not a makeup spray. And this is like a makeup brand, I thought. But as I've learned more about the brand and what this product's supposed to do, like this saved my skin, truly. It's a lifesaver. I think it's such a good product. And I will be repurchasing that for a very long time. I appreciate that it has 
hydrating and calming ingredients to it. It has like three super basic ingredients that are good for eczema. It's not sticky. I like that it doesn't have any fragrance. It just is a good one. Like it's not the sexiest product ever to be straight up. It's, you know, you don't get like that brand experience of like the scent, mm -mm -mm -mm. but you're getting some good skincare in that product, so. Highly recommend. All right, all, so let me know your thoughts on Tower 28 down below. The last time I did a video about Tower 28, they'd only had like a blush come out, some of the lip jellies, and that's SOS spray. I've been impressed with their growth. They've grown really quickly, I feel. Um, they have a whole now like section at Sephora where before they were just like a little tiny, like they had like, a, like a cutesy section with like a few blushes. It wasn't that big, now it is bigger. So I'm happy for them. I think they have a nice line. I do appreciate that it is a little bit more accessible in this space for people who like are looking for better ingredients, but you know, don't wanna spend $45 on a lip gloss. I understand that. Like, you know, there needs to be makeup out there for everyone and good performing makeup as well. So let me know your thoughts down below and I will see you guys in the next video. And guys, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world. Bye all.